Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Unite. We're gonna play some more rank. Uh, this is straight out of the last recording, in fact. So, I'm still where I was before, I'm beginner two or something. Yeah, beginner class two. I don't know how many classes there are. There is a reward for doing great class, I think, or reaching great class, so that's where we're aiming for. Are we gonna get there this episode? Not if there's more than two classes. If there aren't, then we will do it. Anyway, we're gonna ready up. So nothing has changed since last time. Still Snorlax Eldegoss. There's my two faves. But we we'll might check out a different character this time, if I can. Maybe we'll try and get a game where I go mid. Uh, but as I said, I'm probably going to wait off on that for a second. So we have... Hmm. We have an interesting team right now. Oh, someone's just taking Snorlax. I, I'm actually fine with someone taking Snorlax. They're not asking for mid. I'm going to do it. I'm going to steal mid. And I'll try and do a mid game. Not my preferred role, I'm not going to lie. But let's see if we can make it happen. These are my equipments. Here's my uh, get button. We'll be taking Spark and then Discharge. That's my game plan. And I'm hoping to God that Cinderace doesn't follow me. Because he, he's the only person that would do. Snorts will go top. If Snorts and Cinderace go top, we've got a good chance. If I see my Cinderace go mid, I'll go top with Snorlax. It's not worth, like, if this happens to you and I know as salty as this might be when you've, like, claimed the slot, do not double up on mid, because you just steal the reward to one another. And it kind of ruins the whole point of mid. What we're going to do is we're going to take a deep breath if this happens. Wish there was a report button, and then we're just going to go up mid. I'm a bit worried about Garchomp and Machamp bottom, by the way. Again, Machamp's not an incredible character. They're okay. They have a CC ability. But I don't think either of them are particularly good early game. On the other hand, Snort, Cinderace up top would be very strong. And uh, during this time, I didn't even look at what they had. So, not a great plan for me. I'm just going to give that a little slap, and then I'm going to go into mid. So first thing first, I take Slash, not Agility. Agility does no damage as I'm aware. We're going to take this. Uh, I don't know which order. There's a better order to do this in. I think I've done the wrong order. I think I'm going to take Taurus first. Or whatever the Bison's called. It's not Taurus. But I'll just stick this way now that I've done it. Use Agility to move around. And we get two buffs for this. I always forget what the other one is. I think this one means I do more damage to the red one when they're at low HP. So that's very good for me to take. So three have gone top, which is interesting. I don't know if their mid has gone up or if three just went with them. I'm hoping that they didn't go mid at all. Uh, their Froakie might be new to the game because he's also behind my tower. But I'm going to go top. Yeah, I'm going. Don't you go to the top path. Froakie's dead. Pikachu's dead. We'll level it up. Perfect. I'm going to steal some of these for more levels. Then we'll take another fight if we have to, and I'm just going to dunk. And then leave these guys to it. We're going to take Spark, I believe. I think this is the one I like. Just seeing where the frog has gone. So Spark has a three charge, and he lets you dash three times. I think the back, yeah, he's back up there. You know what? I'm going to help my team out one last time and go for another gank because I don't think they know I'm here. A great targeting game, thank you. I definitely wanted to go on that creep. It doesn't matter because our team's actually amazing up here. I don't want to take their farm too much, because I'll underlevel my top lane. If you're going to... Oh my god, what are you doing? I, don't, I just don't want to keep doing this to you, but... I think my top has this covered. I want to see what bottom's doing, and I want to do an overload there. And then push bottom lane. I also, at some point, want to go and get my buffs back. Because I've lost them right now. Normally, I would get lower health than this. And then I would do it. Oh, Pikachu's gone bottom. Let me see if I can ruin Pikachu's day. 
Hello, Pikachu. Yeah, just die. Just accept it. Thank you. I'm gonna steal their bees now. By steal, I mean, you know, kindly help them kill the bees. Steal the berry. Not very berry nice of me. Sorry, I got it wrong. And we're gonna take discharge. You're dead. Perfect. I've helped them along now. I'm going to come back to bottom now. And by bottom, I mean face. And we're going to do it again. We're going to repeat the farm, get the buffs. And what I'm hoping to be is stronger than my team. I want to be high level as fast as possible. Remarkable Pikachu got a kill. I never thought I'd see the day. I'm looking at going top next. Cinderace is on the run. Oh, maybe I should be going bottom, actually. Yeah, I should be going bottom. You know what? I'm even going to use my Spark Charge immediately to do it. Let's go get Dreadnought. It's really relevant what Pikachu's doing right now. Oh, I couldn't do it. If I got back to my base, then I would have lived. That sucks. So Gardevoir's now taking my buffs. That was a bit of a feed from me, but I still think we go bottom and get the... Uh, the what's his name? The Dreadnought. But maybe not immediately, because my team looks like they're dying. I don't quite see what's going on here. Okay, they're, they're blocking a creep. Fair enough. And what was even funnier is I went hard on it. God, I melted again. I should have ulted, honestly. Oh, God, we didn't get the kill. Hmm. And kind of needs you to defend for a little bit, Garchomp. Again, apologies for all the mid people out there. I mentioned before, I'm not really a mid expert. We will kill you now, Garchomp. Don't worry about it. I think they ulted there. Right. Spark, spark, spark. I want to stand on the opposite side to my Snorlax. I'm trying to so I don't get hit by the water gun. I think we're going to sneak this. Yeah, there's the level. Cinderace seems okay on top of the own right now. That's an ult from the Machamp, so I'm going in. And I'm going to push this aggressively. They might spawn back in time. And then I'm going to go and help with Rotom. You've made a terrible mistake. So have you. If you killed me like three times, I'm going to actually annihilate you now. And then I'm going to steal their buff. Why go and get mine when I can get theirs? I think I've got time to do this as well. Yep, there's one of them. So this denies their mid. Unless they come to my base to do this. Which they're probably not going to. Okay, let's go get Rotom. Again, let's greed for some farm for no reason. Take a free Pikachu kill. Get the Garchomp. We stole Rotom. I don't think I'm living through this. I, I don't think I follow this now. I just go back to base and heal. They've probably lost. Uh, please work with me, D-Stick. So Rotom is still on top right now. I think we just get the team fight kill if we can. Get the Cinderace. Perfect. That's the rest of their team. I wish that tracking worked a bit better on this character. I have to be careful here.
we can win this. We're not going to win it. <laughs> so my ult's a big AoE, and they were just literally all stood in the tower. They're very weak. I put out a lot of damage then, honestly. Yeah, our guard jump's cleaning it up. I, I've played this pretty poorly, this game, but... It doesn't matter. Cinderace is going for Zapdos. I wish they wouldn't do right now. Just wait for me to respawn. We're going to be down guard chomp, so this is going to be a 4v6 right now. We can still lose this on Zapdos, by the way. Okay, we're not going to lose this on Zapdos. One of them fed into mid. And now I'm coming back. The carry. But he's not really carrying right now. Again, our Snorlax should not be fighting Zapdos, nor should I. Like, we're in the lead, there's no reason for us to fight Zapdos. I have to blink. Okay, if we're gonna go for it, let's go for it. We have to be fast though, we got it. Okay, we've won. That's their last comeback mechanic. I'm not going to sit in Pikachu's ultimate, funnily enough. What a goal. Uh, good spark jump there. And I'm just going to get in their base and dunk. And then I'm going to teleport back to bottom. Or run back. Whatever's faster. What a goal. Uh, Machamp honestly might be MVP this game. But this is over. Again, I should be padding out my stats because I'm a mid. I should be spawning camping in the fountain. How about I go and kill this Pikachu instead? This free Pikachu. Are you enjoying our base? Are you enjoying the sights and the sounds? Uh, thank you for your visit. But this was solid enough. Let me heal again. And a party celebration. There's no target for my ult, so he won't go off. But yeah, 761 to 240. Hopefully this showed something a little bit different about midding. But again, I'm not very good at it. I'm not very good at Zerorora, I'm not going to lie. He's the only mid character I can play. I went 14 and 5, and I don't. Sorry, I don't go 190. How did I do worse than a score bunny? They got less kill. I guess they got more assists. They dumped less than me. They killed less than me. They, they got 10 assists. Fair enough. Uh, I think this battle was basically never in doubt. Yeah, we would show always better. But again, look at the big swing Zapdos makes. If they got Zapdos, they could have won that game. They didn't, though. And again, we should really just be protecting Zapdos then. We shouldn't go for the kill. I mean, I've done my obligatory one mid game, so. Don't ever expect to see that again. It's also pretty unlikely that, you know, someone wouldn't have picked the character already. Zerora seems to be a very fan favourite character. Mainly because it's free and it's very strong. Uh, I kind of want to play a Gardevoir game. Let me try and... Uh, this would be a bit risky. I really want to see where they're going first. But I think I should Snorlax. Yeah, okay, I think I Snorlax here. And I'll go top. I'd like to see what everyone else is doing. Zerora will go mid. If Pikachu comes with me, we're going to be super aggro. I'd prefer Pikachu over Talonflame. I think Pikachu Snorlax is a very strong, like, top lane. At least from what I've seen. I don't know if it's the meta again. I'm not really following any, like... I don't know, I was going to say pro plays, but the game, I guess, is too young to have a pro scene yet. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe there are pro tournaments already. Uh, Gengar frightens the hell out of me, especially with the eject button. They're probably going to go, or fight Zerora for mid. Again, my hope is that Zerora and Cinderace both go mid with the Gengar and make them unhappy. But if Gengar comes to my lane, I have to respect the Gengar a little bit. Maybe not early on, but in the mid game, I'll have to respect them. They can annihilate me. Right, business as usual. Another day at the office, honey. I picked up tackle. Uh, I'm hoping you go mid. Okay. 
I say I hope you're doing mid. You're ruining the game now for us, Aurora. And this is what really pees me off in this game. So, I don't think either of them called it, in fairness, but they're now splitting mid. Only one person's gone bottom. So, a bottom's going to get a lot of farm. That's the only positive of this. Their Cinderace went top. But on mid now, he's going to have, like, half the experience they should have had. And, like, our bottom lane's going to have a torrid time if they're 2v1-ing, even if they level fast. The only benefit... Well, firstly, there's a Charmander here who wants to die. That's a pretty good benefit. Yeah, you can't kill me. I, I win this 1v1, unfortunately. Uh, score when he killed my Pikachu. I don't think I greed for this. Holy moly. Score when he does a lot of damage. If I get close to you, I will kill you. I just want to wait for my Pikachu second. Yeah, okay. Uh, I want to get bees again. And just keep making sure I'm higher level. Score Bunny's left again. I don't know where the Score Bunny is. Okay, they went mid. Uh, what was that tackle then? I guess they tackled the wall. I think they've gone bottom to help. Which is fine by me. Like, I'll leave the overload bottom and just dunk top. Because I want to get to block as fast as possible. This is my goal. The point is kind of irrelevant right now. If I win the late game, I'm fine. But no, I see where Cinderace is now. Pikachu's fighting them. I don't think Pikachu wins that. But maybe he is, because he's pushing them right back. Oh, I missed. Okay, I've made a colossal error. I think I can live here. No, I can't live. Baited by Pikachu. I really need Talonflame just to protect the goal now, but I don't think they're going to. Nope. But that was honestly a mistake from me. Again, I should just let my Pikachu die for it. Bit of unlock with the timing of the net as well. It broke just as I got there on the Heavy Slam. I don't know why our Pikachu is pushing in aggressively. I guess because my Talonflame did. But right now, Talonflame is having a torrid game. I'm trying to steal this as fast as possible. I'm just going to force them out. I might be able to get the kill there. They might just dunk on my face. I accepted that. Right, you're going to pay for this. I've got block now. I'm going to steal your creeps again. I don't know what you think you're doing. Where do you think you're going? You're into the wall! Oh, you blinked. He's smart. Okay. Pikachu, we don't want that. Pikachu. I'm dead. Ah, oh, my Pikachu's baiting me. I should have waited for block. Uh, if they get... Oh, we have an AFK. That's pretty bad. If we... Oh my god, we stole Rotom. Our Pikachu's insane. And Zeror is coming top. Uh, Pikachu's probably going to die. Never mind, he's not. No, he did. They're going to kill Rotom, I think. They got Dreadnought as well, which is pretty bad. I think we're going to lose this because of the AFK. You can win games with AFKs. Where do you think you're going? Do you think you're going to get your berries? Do you think you're getting your berries? You're going back to spawn. Uh, let me dunk this, please. Thank you. While Rotom's still up. I should have let my Zero roar, but I don't think they were going to make it in time. They also shouldn't be going forwards anymore. We've lost bottom, basically. I think this is now a game for farming fast enough that we can win the team fight for Zapdos. I think that's all that matters. Yeah, our Zero has definitely left. We're all top right now, which isn't great. Zerora. Zerora. Where do you think you're going? Where do I think I'm going, actually? Hey, our teammate's moving. Uh, Zerora's going to die here. I see the Gengar. Great time to get a lag spike. So Gengar, I think, gets 
I'm dead. I'm very lucky. So if Gengar puts a status effect on you, they get a re, like a re hit on one of their abilities. I'm trying to save my teammate dramatically. Oh come on! Targeting. I I'm just gonna stay here and try and block the goal. I should have ulted. It's actually worth it. Maybe Zeror gets some kills if they ult. Let's see how things go. I think we go in on this fight. I try and protect the forty dunk from Charizard. I tried drastically to save you again. Yeah, you're not getting that. That's insane. I appreciate the moxie about that, but that's all you have. Okay. Again, I tried to walk there. It's so much damage. Gengar's like... In fact, I think I can show it. They did 2,600 damage to me in one second. I think I agree with them bottom now. I can take the drive north. Top is dead. Like, we can't fight that right now. With the shield, we can. Pikachu's just gone into suicide, I suppose. Right, now we can take the fight. But what I'd prefer to do is fight Zerora here. Take my heavy slam. And I just destroy their bottom one. Holy moly, we can win top. It's a close battle, yeah, no kidding. This would be over if uh, Lucario didn't come back. Sorry if my mic went quiet then. I have to protect the Rotom push. So you can kill Rotom. Dash, please. I was going to die then if I didn't do that. Push them into the wall. Oh my god, Gengar's won. I can't kill him. Hopefully our teammate comes back and clears this up. Oh, Pikachu was like full HP. And they just baited. Right, kill the Rotom. And that kills the Rotom push. And we have enough time to kill Rotom. And then go Zapdos. I, I think this is a very close game, actually. Like, astonishingly close. I don't know if this will give me level 13. No, it won't. It'd be pretty big for me to get 13 before the fight. Right, Gengar's trying to one-shot Zapdos. Their entire team's going Zapdos. You have to come here. There's no question right now. It's the most important thing. I can try and snipe it. I need help. I need drastic assistance. No, we've lost. I tried to snipe Zapdos at the end, but I couldn't get it. We did get some counter dunks in, but it's irrelevant. They're going to score 300 points off this. So, in this scenario, you push plus, minus, and then surrender. And hope your teammates are intelligent. Uh, also, again, nice would be for the report feature, because our Lucario was AFK for half the game. But we don't have it. The only like counter we've got now is to win a team fight and dunk, but I don't think we're going to get enough points. There's no backing out of this fight. We have to win a fight here. Please, please kill the Gengar. Right, that's a good start. Right, I need to get this Zero Roar to the 29 points. And I need to get some of my own. Just dunk! Right, we destroyed the tower. That's all I can do. Next job is to stop the Charizard dunking 40, but we can't. Important. I got it! I saved it! Holy moly. If we win this game, and I don't think we are going to still, because I think the Zapdos was too much. I never altered this game, by the way. We just protect our goal now. They're not going to get the 50 dunk. It's that, that hopeful dream. It's nice to know that Talonflame, by the way, just farmed that entire game. It was so close. 
if Talonflame hadn't just farmed to 50 and had just gone straight to a tower when they were dunking, we win that game. They dunked zero. Honestly, you just have to take those ones on the chin. Ozerora did really well there. They took every single medal, in fact. But it's a pity, because we did really well on top. Anyway. Just immediately brush that off. The great thing about the Pokemon MOBA, 10 minute games, I can just forget immediately about that Talonflame and Lucario's existence. And just pretend they're not going to get them again. I don't even know their name, so I won't know if I do. But we did our job. Right. We have a Gengar, which is great, so they're going to go mid, so there's no point picking a mid character. You know what? Let's show off Slowbro. I think they're worse in every way than Snorlax. So Snorlax, they have... At the start of the game, they'll have Water Gun, which you can hold to do more damage. They get Surf, which is their CC. It's kind of similar to my Heavy Slam. Then the big difference is Block. I have Telekinesis instead. And what that does is I'll hold them in the air with Psychic Power and just stop them from moving. They're just going to have no fun this game. That's my goal. And then my ultimate is Garbage. Unlike uh, Snorlaxes, which is great. So Slowbro's ultimate, again, it holds them in place. Or like, it's a massive slow, something like that. And it does a damage over time against one enemy. So basically, I'm just going to be trying to focus on taking enemy units out of fights. There's certain high priority things, like if I can swap my playstyle for Gengar, that's great. Because in each of those attacks where... So Telekinesis is where I hold them in place, and my ultimate, which I don't even remember the name. It's called like Slow Sight. It means I can't move either. So if I can swap my existence for like a Gengar, or in this case it's probably going to be for Talonflame, I'll take it. That's what this game's going to be. But really, this game is about Gengar carrying. By the way, another way of knowing if we've got a good chance of winning, and I might not have time to do this because the menu's too slow. If you click on their profile things, it'll show them their actual profile picture. If your teammate has not edited their profile picture, you're probably going to have a bad teammate. I'm just calling it out there. But anyway, here's Water Gun. It has a sweet spot. It's like Gears of War. I bet you didn't ever think of that. That I'd compare a Pokemon game to Games of War, but it has happened. Oops. I think the water gun range increases as well the more I hold it. But I'm pretty weak to start off with. Slack off, by the way, is like... Rest for Snorlax. It'll just heal me. But I'll stop moving. In fact, I think it's exactly the same. Anyway, let me steal the neutral creep and then... They haven't come top, from what I can see. Okay, this is a very good start for us. And they have a Pikachu top who's now under level. They have the same. It's a mirror map, but we're higher level, so we'll take this. By the way, the Snorlax passive. Sorry, Slowbro's passive. I have like two health bars. I have like a blue one and a yellow, green one, sorry. If the blue one goes to zero, I still die. I don't exactly know how it works. It's like, it's like a temporary damage situation, I think. Like, I can still survive out of it. I think that's basically it. It's like a delayed damage. So, I'm a little bit of a tanky boy. Let's see if I can dunk this 8. It's kind of worthless, but... Might as well. Okay, Pikachu's come back top. My Pikachu's gone to fight them. They should win the 1v1, honestly. But not under the tower. Realistically, right now, I don't think this is the correct play from their Pikachu. I think we should just be farming. But you don't get that much from killing them. Like, I deny them orbs, but they're not going to have any orbs. Speaking of not having any orbs... Give me your eight orbs, please. And I've got Telekinesis now. I've got Telekinesis, Kyle. It's the power to move you. Do 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 A bit of Tenacious D there. It's a nice play on move, by the way. Because he says it as if, like, you know, you're moving someone as in, like, emotionally moving them. But telekinesis is actually the property of moving someone with psychic powers. Would I love telekinesis? Yeah, that'd be pretty high on my... I just tried to dunk on my own goal. What the fuck am I doing? 
That'd be a pretty sick superpower. Oh, I want to use this. Okay, six away. I'm going to make a rare play towards them. Oops, on this side. But I don't think anyone's here. Okay, hello Pikachu. I see your back. Please leave me alone. So this is Telekinesis. If I don't move now, he can't move. I just ruined his fun. He's now on the Pokemon Unite subreddit going, Slowbro is so broken. He has this ability where he pushes one button and I can't do anything. I should not have done that. I'm so sorry, Pikachu. I wish there was a sorry button. Admittedly, I just, I sort of denied eight of points for us. It's not the end of the world. get roasted. I will take Rotom with you. I would normally like to go for Dreadnought Pikachu, but <coughs> since you asked kindly, by the way, I just destroyed my vocal cords doing the uh, Reddit gag again. I don't think you can telekinesis Rotom. I think I've tried this before. Okay, let's follow Rotom through and I'll get my Pikachu dunk 30 and hopefully Rotom dumps another 20. Apparently I got damage, so it cancelled it. I say damage. I think it means if I get moved, bad things happen. I think that cancels it. Well, I definitely had my hand off the controller then. Okay, they're taking Dreadnought. I actually think I want to go bottom right now and help with Dreadnought. I'm going to leave Pikachu top. Please don't die for their slow, bro. We got Dreadnought. That's terrific news. In which case, we'll just win the fight down here. Okay, they've done it. Where's the rest of their team, by the way? I've seen like three people this game. Aha, there you are. Let me just freeze you in place for a moment. There you go, you're dead. I'll dunk eight. Venusaur really should come dunk more, but... I'll come top now and help my teammate again. This is definitely a W. Oh, actually, let's take the team fight here. Let's take the aggressively stupid team fight here. Never mind, they surrendered. They dunked six. That seems less than ideal. The positive thing about surrendering? More content for the video. And boy, do I love content, baby. Uh, we were 4 and 5. Slow bro, you don't expect to get like high kills. But assists, we should be up there. Because I think we initiate and then just freeze someone. I don't know why I'm going on the review graph. But there you go, that was it. They had 3 kills. And 2 of them were Elder Goss, their support. So I bet you the Elder Goss was having a very fun time at their end. Anyway, if I can get to great rank, and again, I don't know how far away I am. I'm about to go to class 3 maybe, or great rank, one of the two. This will unlock unlock Crustle for me, and then we could show Crustle off. That'd be the dream, because I've never played Crustle, sorry, show them off, I've never played them so I don't know what they're like. Okay, they've locked in slow bro. My answer to you locking in slow bro, is to lock in this guy. Slow bro is probably going to go top. I will go bottom with the Charizard. This seems perfect. One of Cinderace or Zerora goes mid, I don't care. And the other one goes with Slowbro. Okay, Zerora go mid. Cinderace, Slowbro, Fire and Water, Heat, and Wet. That can be the team name of Slowbro and Cinderace. Heat and Wet. By the way, Pokemon Unite. Can you represent Steel types a little bit more? I don't think there's a Steel type in the game yet. What would I like? Give me an Onyx to Steelix or a Scyther to Scissor. I bet Scyther to Scissor would be super cool. I think they've represented pretty well like most people's like you know favorites of the Pokemon universe. Some surprises in here. Elder Goss, pretty big surprise. I wouldn't mind another healing character as well. That could be Chansey. You know, throwing eggs at people and stuff. Egg bomb. That'd be really cool. But I'm really enjoying this game. I'm way more than I thought I would do. 
Like, I can't believe, if you told me like a year ago that I'd be enjoying a Pokemon Mobile in 2021, I would have just said, laughed at you. I would have gone, <laughs> in your face. But no, I am enjoying it. It's really good. I like the stripped back MOBA. Oh. Uh, we took a long time to kill that then. I would like to take... Oh, you're called Ordino, aren't you? That's your name. Let me hide in the bush and steal you. I don't really care about what my Charmander is doing right now. Just deny the neutral creep. Give us more levels so we have a favorable team fight. Okay, I don't know why you took that one first, but sure. Uh, they're not down here yet, so I don't know where their bot is. Bot is missing. Okay, bot is no longer missing. Let me try and steal it. I failed miserably. I'm still okay. Hmm. I have to be a bit careful about this. Hi. He does a lot of damage. I am a ranged character, though. Please get away from me. I would like the neutral creeps. I'm just going to leave Charmander to, like, kill him if he can. But I don't think he will do. Well, I think Zerora could have killed both of us then, had he gone in. So, that's a positive sign. All right, you took both the berries. I just need to stay out of the fight and let my Charmander initiate. Scare him away and then don't. So that will land on you. That will give you a heal. Please stop chasing him. So I'm not going to make the same mistake. If he does that, I'm just going to ignore him. Oh, shoot. It was hidden from me. I thought I killed it. Taking my eye off the ball. Uh, let me try and take their creep again. Let me synthesis early. I've opened up this menu. I don't know why he's gone in so aggressively. That's Haunter and Zerora. That's a lot of damage. Uh, by the way, he has a pull as well at this point in the game. I think his lick is his pull. I think I can get you killed here. I hit the creep with Pollen Puff. If I don't kill him, it's because of that. But well, don't worry, we got it. Right, is Dreadnought up? It's coming up. I would like to get Dreadnought. But I'd also like these bees. Thank you. And all I'm doing right now is just leveling. Zerora, you can't actually beat us right now because we're out leveling you. So please escape with your life. Not intact. Which really isn't an escape now that I think about it. Fate Haunter into my team. Again, we, we can kill Haunter here. Oh, I just had a power cut. I I'm still in the game, though. Am I still recording? Yes, but it's a black screen by OBS. I will try and fix that in a minute. Let me give you the teleprompter thing. Unfortunately, instead of winning that fight, or Charmander died. Let me try and fix this. Let me run back to my tower and bait my teammate. I think my El Gato has frozen, so I think we're going to be losing this game. Let me try and restart. Apologies, apologies. You've missed one game, which we won, by the way. So I now begin a class three. I don't know how much of this I'll leave in. About halfway through a game, I'm playing as Elder Goss for a change. I might leave in the half, in fact. But I had a power cut, so I lost everything, but I was able to reconnect back into the game, and we still won. But I couldn't get my Elgato to capture again, so... Al Did I call it Algato? Al, the cat. Perfect. I'll call my Elgato Al from now on. But yeah, my Elgato, unfortunately, wouldn't just, like, reset into OBS. So I've had to restart my OBS and all the other things like that. Seems to be recording fine right now, but we'll just get back into another game. Beginner Class 3 now with two blips. I'm hoping there's no more classes after this. And hopefully this will take me into the great... And then hopefully we'll go from beyond there. That's the dream. But apologies for missing the Elder Goss game. Honestly, it wasn't a close game. We won by like a 700 points, so you didn't miss too much. Uh, Blizzness clearly wanted Snorlax because he wasn't picking. He was just sat on Snorlax, but wouldn't get it because of me. I'm okay with that. I'm actually going to make a interesting play here. 
I'm going to play as Gardevoir. I've not shown off Gardevoir yet. They're both going top, so I'll go bottom. But this is kind of like... I, I don't really know what to call it. It's like an all-rounder, I guess. But it's not truly an all-rounder. But I don't feel like I have carry potential to this character. I'm hoping Snorlax comes with me, by the way. I think Cinderace is going mid and Ninetales and Venusaur are top. Which is fine. I'd prefer a lot with Ninetales to go bottom, to be honest with you, but... Anyway, this is what I was... In fact, I don't even know if this will still be in the part, but... If you click on profiles, you can see who's edited profiles or not. And if they've edited their profiles, typically they're, they're, they're at least a competent player. So we have one person that hasn't changed theirs. Oh, by the way, I'll show you off mine, but I need to redo it. Oh, I didn't quite get it in time. But I need to redo mine because it isn't in the, the vest. I'm not wearing my lovely woolen vest. Alright, Cinderace is going mid, that's fine. Otherwise, I would have gone mid with Gardevoir, I think. Like, just ignoring mid, and I've had a few games where that happens, I think is the worst thing you can do. I'd rather a character that's something good at mid to go mid. Oh yeah, I'm bottom, so... Let's take the neutral creep. Uh, so Gardevoir, they're very good late on, but they're pretty garbage early on. I do not know what you're doing, but I'll come and tell you in a moment. Don't know how you didn't see I was in the bush. There we go, there's the kill. So they left one of their creeps to do that. Can I steal? Uh, I don't think I want this fight. I'm going to try and bait them into my Snorlax. Scorbunny does a lot of damage. Okay, my Snorlax didn't heal in that time. That's kind of a... a whiff on their part. But you're going to still die for this. Snorlax, please come and heal. I'm going to steal one of the berries. And I'll take this creep while I'm here. Is that Gabite really going to push? Let's just kill Gabite again and take bees. So yeah, I have a teleport right now as my right trigger. It's basically useless. I say useless. It's really good to get away from people, so it's not useless. In fact, it might be one of the best abilities of the game, to be honest, with teleporting, but... Look at our Snorlax disrespect show. He's going to take berries, that's fine. I can't really kill Skull Bunny right now, which is a little bit of an issue. I can if you help me, though, or push them out. Quick dunk and then run. See you later. I just want to get my health straight back up again. Let the berries recharge. So I'm going to run back now. I hope our Snorlax does return. Uh, Snorlax went mid for them, which is kind of weird. I also don't know why I teleported them. Just fat thing in the bottom. Let's just go with it. Right now, bottom is covered. We're better than they are. And I've got Side Shock up. This is going to raise my damage considerably. Side Shock is such a high damage ability. It's crazy. So this will produce purple balls when I show it off. And it explodes three times and it does massive damage. Especially if you can CC them in it like Snorlax can. So we have a pretty good synergy here. Me and the old Snorlax. But it's very good for clearing up stuff like this. Like the bees. Just doing massive AoE damage. So I will start leveling faster now. Well, Snorlax is probably dead. But let's go and help him. Oh, he's got block. Again, block pretty good with side shot. Oh, he's going to destroy the tower first. I'm going to wait for him for a second. Yeah, okay. There we go. I'm hoping he comes bottom with me now. Moonblast is my next ability. So this replaces confusion. This is a stun for me. So the idea is going to be to side shot. And then stun them in my side shot to do way more damage. That's the wombo combo. Right click, left click. And by right click, left click, I mean right trigger, right bumper. I know it's a Nintendo controller. It's RT or something, or TR. Or ZR, that's it. That's what Nintendo does. They put Zs on their things. I could kill that guy bite in a moment. I'm just going to ignore them. Thank you, Snorlax. I'm going to help my Snorlax right now to get out. I'm fine. I've got a TP, so I'll just use my TP. Snorlax, I don't know what they had. Okay. 
New plan. I live. And I kill them both. Because I'm great. That's a pretty good plan. Uh, that wouldn't have been as easy as Gabite had followed them, but for some reason Gabite has not followed them. I guess they are farming because they're so behind in the levels right now that they're getting just destroyed. I don't think I'm going to go up top either because they seem to be handling things just fine. Stun them in the side shot. That's big damage. My ultimate isn't great, by the way. I don't really like the ultimate. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go back to base and heal. It's not worth risking my life to dunk 36. Snorlax dunks 3. That's fine. So my ultimate is like a black hole and it pulls people into the center. So now my new combo is the black hole, side shot, moon blast. If I really want to do it in a team fight, it's not really worth it for one. And I'm a bit weak while I'm doing it. Okay, if you're going to just freely give me 36, I'll take it. Oh my god, the Snorlax knows the, the strats. Alright, let's steal that creep down here. Just to further compound misery. Okay, I've got the Wombo Combo. I've not really done it very well because Gengar can teleport out of the Wombo Combo. I don't want to die to bees either, so... Please help me with the bees, thank you. And now all I'm doing is farming. Get side shock, level up. Eh, uh, I'd like to get Dreadnor right now, but if my Snorlax doesn't want to do it, I'm just gonna wait for Snorlax to decide. If he's yeah, he's coming. I'll initiate. Because we'll we'll melt this thing between us. Look how much damage this side shock attack does. I don't think block works in Dreadnought, but I could be wrong. Maybe it is stunning him. Alright, there's a big level for us. I'm now going to go top, like the Snorlax is doing, and stop this Rotom push. I was going to say we'll take Rotom, but... It's been told. Taken. What's up? Let's just kill it. I think it got stolen up here by the look of things. And I'll help counter them push through. Uh, I've, I've found their team. I think I've got a kill. Yeah, I've got a kill. Good luck with that, Snorlax. See how that plays out for you. Let me just steal your berry. And now I'd like to get to their goal. I thought they surrendered, but apparently the game froze for a second. Maybe one of them left. This is one of those games where Zapdos... It's going to be the rare game where Zapdos literally wouldn't help you. By the way, great targeting there. Oh, I targeted the Snorlax. You know what? Sure, I'll take it. Not who I was after. You also took Yawn, so you're probably not a great Snorlax. I like Yawn, by the way. If they ever nerf block, and I think they're going to nerf block, I've heard rumors it's one of the things they're going to do. So it's pretty unfun to play against. I think Yawn is still incredible. What a goal, by the way. What a goal, by the way. So that was my ultimate, KO Streak 2. Let me go help Snorlax and Mid, who's trying to fight the Zapdos. Did they die? I think they did. Ow. There's no point in me fighting this right now without my team. If Cinderace starts it, I'll do it. Okay, sure. Normally, like, if you're in the lead, you should just defend this until the enemy team comes in. And then try and win the fight instead. But we're so far ahead that I actually don't think it matters if Zapdos gets stolen. Steal it if you want. Okay, they stole it. <laughs> I, I think it's irrelevant. I think it's completely irrelevant. But, you know, this makes it more interesting. Admittedly, just farming the fountain like they were doing is also completely pointless. Sure, take your 300 points or whatever you get from it. But I'll show you on the, the graph like how like different this is going to be. Now that they took that. 
I guess why why would we take the risk in a ranking game? I don't know. It's better to be doing the wrong thing together than the right thing on your own. I think that's kind of my approach. We're still going to get a counter dunk chance, so I, it's not even the end of the world. Right, you're dead. You're dead, right? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to dunk these, but just dunk a few points just to make sure. Am I going to get this off in time? He should really stop me here. I think that counts. No, it didn't count. Holy moly, that was close. Closer than I thought it was going to be. One of the rare games where you take Zapdos and don't win. But yeah, that was Zapdos. That was insane. It was like the perfect Zapdos for them. It actually went from... What? I don't know if I can see it on the list, but they were maybe at 100 points to be generous. And they ended just 15 points behind. It's insane how strong Zapdos can be. Uh, admittedly, this was partly my fault, part Cinderace's fault that this was a close game. Because it wasn't. They were never in the game, basically, until literally the last moment. I would have been salty if we'd lost that game, by the way. Yeah, I know, Millie, I would have been salty. By, like, those 22 points, because I dunked that. That 100% should have counted. That was in the basket, and it's like, nah. Nah. Anyway, we'll give it one more game, just to see if there's a class 4 or not. If it is, this is going to be a bit of an anticlimactic finish to the video, because... I'm hoping this takes me into great rank. We could lose it, though. Don't get too cocky. We've lost one game on the way here. And frankly, we should have lost that one. Anyway. Who do we want to go into great rank with? We obviously want to do it with Snorlax. Or favourite character. Right, Cinderace will go mid. Pikachu should go top with me. Okay, Cinderace might not be going mid, depending on what this era does. Okay, I think Cinderace will go mid. I'm hoping Cinderace goes mid. I've never tried mid Pikachu. In fact, I've not really tried Pikachu before. I don't know if that would work, because I don't think Pikachu is as good at the end of the game as he is at the start. He's still pretty solid. But I think I'd prefer my Cinderace to go mid, Talonflame to go bottom with Venusaur, and me and Pikachu will just dominate whoever's top. Who do I expect to be top from them? It's probably going to be Talonflame and Machamp. But I don't know that for certain. Their team is pretty weird. There's no real defenders in there, no real carries other than Cinderace. It, I, on paper, I think we win this game. Well, obviously this game isn't pay played on paper. Oh, I should be trying to click my portrait. There you go. Beautiful. Just need to get the woolen sweatshirt into it. And we're good. Okay, let's take tackle. Talonflame, please don't go top with me. Uh, okay, so Talonflame is a horrible person. So we're actually going to be playing Snorlax mid, apparently, because no one went mid. It's literally not worth it for me to give up the farm. I'd rather, even though my character is not really a carry, I'd rather take mid myself as Snorlax. But it's a joke. I can't believe my Cinderace didn't take this. It blows my mind. By the way, I know if you can hear my clicking of A, you can hold the button to auto attack, but frankly, the auto attack is so clunky that I just don't care. Okay, our Pikachu scored first and they look like they're dominating top right now. Bottom, on the other hand, looks like they could use a, a little bit of service. So I'm going to try and gank these two late. So, so the Ninetales got off a pretty good start. Unfortunately, you're going to die for it. Yeah, I'm not letting you out. I won't play my will let escape. And then we'll take this farm, thank you. 
The rare ganking Snorlax. But this gets me Heavy Slam very early. That was a mistake from you. You're going to die for it, right? No, okay, he's not going to die for it because my teammates just did not attack there. I don't have a jet button either, so I need to start wandering out. Uh, he can take the berry. I'm just going to sleep in my gold for a second. And then take the berry. I think I might hang out down here because I think these guys are going to have a little bit of an issue. I've lost my buff, by the way. Again, not the target I was after. Blink up. I'm just going to rest him in the face because I get the blink in two seconds. I still think I die for this, though. Okay, I'm so lucky. How did our Cinderace die again, by the way? Okay, I have to go back. And maybe they were just too weak. So Cinderace has now gone mid to farm creeps. Yeah. Right, I'll, I'll sit bottom then. I'll just become the bot. It's the worst thing possible because, you know, now we've just split our farm, just like separated slightly. I think a bubble is going to die. Yeah, he is. Hopefully we'll trade Cinderace. Hey, it's my creep. Please leave it alone. Okay. The Nine Tails got two more bits. Ooh, this is kind of horrible. Right, Dreadnought is what we want. Please come with me. But we should leave this to take the fight when they see what's happening. I'm worried about Ninetales just stealing this. Perfect. We win this now. We take the fight. Where are you going, Talonflame? You're not going back to your base. Please kill the Talonflame. Holy... I don't think I get this. I get this eventually. Yeah, I do. I think the chase there is worth. Because otherwise they were just going to heal off all berries. Try and get these guys to, to dunk. Nice. I've done my job here. Now, can you help me? Never mind. Oh, they might get killed. Nice. Let me dunk, let me dunk, let me dunk. Okay, now we get the kill here. I tried to save my score bunny. You did. My job here is done. You guys need to go back to base and heal. I'm now going to steal the bees again. Sorry, it's my farm. You take my jungle. I take your farm. Right, top needs my assistance now. The fighting roads them right now. I don't have time to take the creeps. That's fine. What I will take is the roads. Thank you. And you can pay for it with your life. Oh, you ulted at the worst possible time to do Charizard. By the way, I will ult you to kill you. I fucked up block. Let me into dunk, please. Thank you. Uh, what are you doing with my champ? What are you doing? Where are you going? You're not leaving anymore. You're dead. Uh, Talonflame? That's pretty aggressive. I appreciate it, though. I can get behind that aggression. Right, I would like to go and kill Dreadnor again. Do you want to take the creep Pikachu? Just me and you. I'll even let him last hit it. You take it, Pikachu. It's yours. Pikachu. There you go. I'm going to get Pikachu this one as well, because I think he's coming. Nice. We should get the kill here. Oh, I blocked the wrong way again. Never mind, I can make this work. This is probably a W. I'm going to go help a Venusaur fight the Dreadnought. Thanks, Pikachu. We had a great little partnership together. Did Venusaur die to the Dreadnought? No, someone's fighting it. I say someone's fighting it. Who's fighting it? Let's just gank the Charizard. 
I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Boomer reflexes. The goal being destroyed is irrelevant. It's actually irrelevant. That isn't there. No, I, I, I can't stun, stun that thread. No, I just tried it again. Helen Flame's going to try and steal it. I can already tell. Never mind. You know what? If you are so desperate for Dreadnought that you would ult it. What are you two doing? You don't do that to a Snorlax. You don't do that to Snorlax. Because I'm now going to punish you. Or right, hopefully my teammate will. What a turnaround! I should really run here. Yeah. Is Rotom top? If it is, yes, Rotom's going top. Let's try and dunk with Rotom. Then we protect Zapdos. That's the dream. I think I'm getting... Yeah, Rotom got there. They destroyed the goalpost. That's pretty bad for me. I'm going to try and dunk this 50. It might be worth waiting... Ah, oh, no, it's not worth waiting 10 seconds. Maybe it was worth waiting a little bit. I'm not going to get a double point on this. I think we just go defend Zapdos. It's so... I could have waited three seconds, but my champs just come out now. I would have got stopped, I think. Right, I don't want Talonflame to initiate here. I also don't want my Pikachu to take a 1v1 with my champ. I think he lost it as well. Which might mean my champ ulted, question mark. Hmm. You stole it. Okay, our team is going to fight Zapdos even though we're winning by a country mile. Okay, let's get in. Let's get my ult. And that's game! That's game there, ladies and gentlemen. We take Zapdos, we score 300 points, or whatever we've got on us right now. And now I just go back and defend the goals. Uh, I'll take top, I think. Uh, you know what, I'll take bottom. The more like... I don't know, it's perfectly symmetrical. I should have gone top, it turned out. But it's irrelevant. The points they're scoring now, 46. I laugh at 46 points. It's nothing. Okay, I am going to go back low and actually, you know, stop you. Oh, Talonflame. Okay. I thought they waited for Zapdos to end. No. No. I mean, the game's over now, Talonflame, sir. I don't know why I blinked into you. I'm just trying to get the kill. A little kill. Oh, it's not good. One more? Never mind. This is still the W. This will be getting to the great class, hopefully. Yeah, it was irrelevant. The counter dunk can be fine, but I don't think it was in that situation. I think it's only really fine if you're in the lead. You can't just let the other team kill Zapdos. MVP to get their 206 points dunked. 7 kills, 12 assists. Whew. I'll take that score. I forgot to check the scoring graph to see how close we were before Zapdos. Great class 1, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. It only took us 3 episodes. We're great class. Carried by a Snorlax. And this means in our challenges, we've done it. We can claim our final challenge. And this gives us a little crustal. Nice. I say little. It's pretty big. Another defender. So this is another character for me to learn. But we'll do that in a different episode. Assuming we, you're enjoying this content and you want more. Anyway, if you enjoyed the videos on the channel, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.